and you are welcome back and we're going to hit the ground running like we always do on this next segment. Uh, we'll talk about the health sector and the National Association of Resident Doctors, the strike that was just called off and all of that. So resident doctors who work at the Abia State University of Teaching Hospital are owed 20 months salary. You heard that right. It's, it's true. They say 11 of those 20 months are under the government of Governor Okezie Piazo, while uh, nine months are under the previous government. The doctors are now demanding to be paid. They've already met with the state government and got a commitment that 11 months uh, salary, uh, salaries will be of offset soon, which is why the president of the National Association of Resident Doctors in Abia State, uh, Dr. Kingsley Nwaimo, is uh, joining us this morning. Doctor, thank you for joining us. Thank you. So it's, it's mind-blowing, 20 months. Let's start from the beginning, right? How have your members be surviving without salaries? Okay. Um, on a very good day, it has been a, a very hard time for the resident doctors in Ada State Teaching Hospital because of the 20 month salary being owed to them by the Ada State government. It's not, it has not been easy because most of them find it difficult to feed find it difficult to transport themselves to work because they are willing to work. That's why they've been working to this period, you know, the accumulation of that um, uh, salary. Then most of the resident doctors also find it difficult to register for exam, to go for West African College or um, National Postgraduate College exams. So it's, it's, it has not been easy for us to survive, but we thank God at least we are alive today and managing oh. while waiting for the governor to to do his own part. Okay, I, I want to you know go back to you know when we say twenty months. Um, yeah. In the there's a letter that also uh, uh, was um, uh, put out that I read uh, between uh, your body and uh, the current governor of Abia State, Tokeze Pazu. That stated yes, that he has he currently owes you eleven months. The previous administration in Abia State owed you guys nine months salaries. When did this start, and and why exactly did your salary salaries stop coming in? Uh, before, of course, okay, Zepazu came in and continued with the same non-payment of salaries. When did it start? Okay, actually, actually, um, the the former governor, Senator T. L. G was owing the, the institution some, more, some months of salary before he left. Then on absorption of office by the current governor, OKZ Bazo, PHD, he paid some money, almost, uh, I think, 11 months or so, when the uh, Paris um, fund was given to them by the present government, by the federal government. So he paid some money to assist the institution to clear some of the salary arrears. But unfortunately, as time went on, um, he started owing us, then telling us, um, saying that he was going to pay, you know, as he, um, that he has other things while waiting for money to come, that the, the money he used to get is not what he gets uh, almost at the end of the month from the federal government. So, I think that's where that was where we started. He started owing us. Let me understand. You said he, he made some payments when he came in. Does that mean he offset the uh, debts that TA OG left, or was there more? Because you, you, you just mentioned eleven months. Yes, he paid. He paid. He paid. He, um, he was owing some months too when he came in, but he paid uh, up to I think eleven months. You know. So we, uh, from, from the meeting we had with him last Thursday, he made us to understand that all the money he paid was during his own administration and not, during, uh, not for TRG, the nine months inherited. So that was the clarification he gave us. All right. Um, 
Well, it's 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 not a very very good story, and mm. I, I feel really bad for you know doctors in in Abia State. But let's also talk about the NERD strike that has just been suspended. How do you feel about that? The national body of the NARD, Dr. Of course, the president, we spoke with him, Dr. Uilawa, um, who said that they have agreed and they have gotten promises from the federal government and they will be suspending the strike. How do you feel that that strike has been called off while you are still owed 20 months' uh, salary? Okay, the, we thank our national president because he sent delegates to absolute, you know, to Abia State to interact with the with the with the governor of Abia State, okay, say Victor Ibasu PAT, including the former NAD president, because that day he was having a meeting, you know, with the representative of the House of Assembly. So when we had the the call off, he told us that we should still continue on the strike, you know, based on the negotiation on the agreement the governor made with them that day, that he's going to, one, you know, within 10 days, he's going to grant some money for re-accreditation of residency training in that institution. Then within 20 days, he's going to st uh, study the Medical Residency Training Act of 2017 and see possible implementation of that act in uh, other states. So he also told them that day that he's going to start paying monthly, starting from April 2021. So that was, um, uh, then when he gets money, he will start paying the, the, the arrears, you know, so that the money he's getting is not enough for him to carry all these things out. So when we had the, it was suspended, well, we felt, um, we felt there is a reason, because the reason they gave us was that they want to give federal government time and the state government time within one month so that to enable them pay all the, uh, the money they are owing to their members and also to solve the problems of the, of the association. So the government requested one month, which they granted. You know, so that's the situation, sir. You know, there's something you said that caught my attention, that the governor said if he gets monies, uh, that's when he's going to start paying the backlog, right? If you look at the front page of The Punch today, we saw this headline, uh, states face cash crunch, salaries swallow revenues. That's coming from the state governors. Eh? So if he doesn't get money, what happens? Um, uh, frankly speaking... It will, be, it will be a very hard situation for us. The governor is a, is a loving governor, and we feel that he should, he should know the plight we are in, because we have cried unto him. We have made the, the, the uh, before this time, we have written several letters to him, you know, uh, saying our plight, and also the, with the intervention of the national body with whom he agreed, uh, he made some promises. I think he will, he will keep to his promises. All right, uh, well, you know, there's um, expectations from the federal government to keep to similar promises. And you've also mentioned that the state government, you know, you expect that they will keep to their promises. Um, you know, so we hope that, you know, these things actually happen like you've said. Um, but it, it might be a little uh, stretch, you know, if you're saying that he's going to pay salaries from April, is there any money that you feel that the state government is expecting that will change uh, the finances of, of uh, Abia State from April? Okay, sir. You know, um, he is the governor of the state. So he knows how he gets money to run the state. I may not be in the, in the, in the best... Um, situation to say how he gets money. But for him to make a promise to the NAD leadership, the delegates, is, you know, that means he's expecting some money somewhere that will enable him, you know, um, start solving our problem. So I can't say exactly that uh, this is the source 
where he's getting the money from. Yeah, and, and how does this also affect um, other medical workers in Abia State? Is it just resident doctors now that are, um, you know, old salaries? No, the whole, the whole health workers, the whole workers, too, in Abia State are being owed the same salary. Because once the money comes, everybody receives his own salary. We just, um, um, yesterday, uh, yes, was it yesterday? Uh, today, so on Tuesday, we just got a one month salary. On Tuesday, for which month? We now? got one month salary. So that money was everybody, um, uh, all the head workers got uh, their own salary. So it's not only the resident doctors that are being old. Every head worker, they are passing through the same um, problems we are we are facing. Okay, so the, the, the picture you're painting here is, it's, it, it doesn't look good at all. So I would like to ask, apart from salaries, do you train your members to try to survive on, you know, on some others, I, I don't know, apart from the work they do and the salaries they expect, is there any other way they can try to survive without uh, waiting for salaries? Um, on, a, on a very good note, there is no other work. I know of their doing because they are resident doctors. So they keep managing the, the, the patients that come into the hospital. The consultants will see the, 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 the patients along with them. Then after that, the resident doctors will continue to follow up the patients or the patient gets well or the patient is being discharged. So I think they are committed to their work. That is why they have been coming to the hospital all along, you know, to this period of time. So how they survive, I think, is, is the grace of God. What would you say happens if these promises are not uh, fulfilled? Uh, promises made by the Abia State Governor um, to, of course, uh, pay from the month of April. What, what happens next? I think the, the institution will still be on strike because they don't have any money to transport themselves. I, I speak to you now. Many of them have been complaining that they don't have money to transport, to come to school, then to, to come to work. And also most of them are also complaining that uh, their house rent has expired and you know they don't have money to do other to send their children to school. So I think it's going to be a hard problem. It's, it's going to be hardship on our own part. You know, but we don't pray that the governor will allow this to happen again, because um, from the assurances he gave, he gave the now leadership, he said it in front of the Honorable Commissioner for Health, then the uh, assistant, um, uh, uh, the special advisor on health of other states and other people there. So we are just believing his words, being our father, that is going to look into our problem. Because if he, if he, if he allows it to, to escalate, it's going to be a big problem for us. We won't even have money to eat. Talkless are coming to work. And our patients will, will suffer it most. All right. Well, Dr. Kingsley Wimo, thank you very much for speaking with us this morning. Thank you, sir. All right. I'm not sure about, you know, the... Um Governor being, you know, our father part, you know, um, salaries need to be paid. Father or no father, grandfather, uncle, whoever he is to, you know, the state. Um, people need to earn their wages and they need to be paid. It, you know, you, you can't owe doctors. And it really just paints a picture of how serious, you know, they, you know, they, they place healthcare in Abia State. Mm -hmm. If you owe resident doctors for 20 months, how exactly do your health, you know, is the health system in Abia State functioning? It's, it's, and what, what does the, doc, the governor really mean? And I hope that we can bring in a representative from the government, um, the Abbasid government, to speak on this. What does the government really mean by there's no money currently to pay you know, salaries? And from April, they you know, might have some money. So if there wasn't a Paris Club refund uh, back then, like he stated, it means that they wouldn't be paid salaries? Yeah, or, or if there's no uh, help from the federal government, how do they call it? A bailout? Yeah. <laughs> Bill of funds and all of that. It's, it's Makes absolutely no sense. Yeah. You know, and so, you know, 
being a father or, you know, or grandfather or godfather, whichever one you want to describe him as, is still the executive governor of Abia State, and salaries still need to be paid. Father, mother, auntie, uncle, whoever he is. Oh, you have an um, issue with that word? Yes, I, I, don't, I personally don't like when you know you, you reach out and say, "Oh, he's the father of the state," and some of all of that. You Maybe know, what is what is wrong is wrong, and what is right is right. True. What you know, the responsibilities of a governor are, you know, they, all these things, you know, are part of the responsibilities to ensure that the state generates enough IGR. And if you can't be a governor and ensure that your state can fund itself and function as you know as, as a state, then what are you doing there? Um, it, it makes absolutely no sense. In what ways has the internal generator revenue of Abia State increased in the last couple of years uh, for you to be able to pay your workers? Mm -hmm. you know, and if you can't say that in the last two, three, four years, this is how we've increased IGR, this is the, these are the new things that we inv we're investing in, this is how we've paid our teachers and our health workers and our uh, um, uh, security agents and whatever, then what are you doing there? Oh, this is the way we are trying to cut, in, we are trying to cut cost. It is, it, why are they not looking at that angle to cut cost of governance and all of well, that? reduce their aids and all. All right, we'll take a short break. When we come back, more of these conversations here on The Breakfast. Good morning.